So basically, the business plan program fits very nicely into the educational programs of MPE, and as you can see on our uh, strategic objectives, uh, one of them, and one of the main ones, is to build capacity and capability among our members, try to uh, create um, stronger groups where there already exists in, in European countries, and to help to create new groups where they at the moment don't exist. And for that, obviously, you need uh, very clear objectives and you need to know how you're going to get to those objectives. And for that, a business plan is a, a must. My name is Neda Homozi, and I work with public sector and charitable organizations and SMEs around business planning and how to make an effective plan that they can deliver. So for me, a business plan is a blueprint, a little bit like the map that you take to build a construction site that helps you go from A to B, but actually keeps you focused on the steps that need, you need to deliver the final results, results. So whatever goal you have set to achieve for yourself. And we tend to, in daily life, we tend to get drawn into other activities. What a business plan, a good business plan does, is it sets out the steps that helps you get to the ideas. So uh, the idea um, was born last year in 2014 during the masterclass, which mm -hmm. was on capacity building, where our members uh, attended four workshops and one of them was on building how to develop a business plan. And based on that, we got very good feedback, but it was uh, or the, they had the feeling that it was a very brief workshop and that they needed more um, coaching, more guidance on, on really developing these uh, business plans and making them achievable and realistic. So it, it actually is a response from MPE to a need of, of our members. Um, I'm Hans Schurer from uh, Hematon, Stichting Hematon from the Netherlands. Well, uh, at first, it, it's interesting for all our members mm -hmm. uh, because uh, we, um, uh, we are all uh, organizations and we can uh, compare them uh, and learn from each other. For my own org organization, it's interesting because uh, we are a re relatively newly started organization, so we, we are busy with making a business plan. Everyone who works in a patient association or in an NGO or charitable organization has that burning desire, has the passion to make a difference. And that is key to being successful in anything. What happens often is that daily life routines, even tools like technology that are really effective, instead of becoming useful, they take up all of our time. So we get distracted from delivering the task that we'd set ourselves to do. So one of the things that came up yesterday and today is people saying, Ah, oh, this is really useful because we have so many objectives and I now know I need to narrow it down. Uh, so my name is Kenneth Zumba, I came from Poland, I represent the foundation which is called Carita. Yeah, I think it's uh, definitely crucial for us to develop a good business plan. And uh, before I came we discussed all together that we need to send somebody to the workshop just to extend our views and to learn something new and uh, also to validate what we think now and that we are on the good way and we know how to do it properly. So. A business plan that becomes a document, a beautiful document that sits on a shelf is not important. What is important, in my view, are the steps you take in creating that business plan because by working through the steps of a business plan, you look at your strengths, at your weaknesses, you have an idea, you have the idea of what you want to achieve at the end, always in sight. And you work through the various steps of operational activities, resources, funds, relationships, timelines, how, when you can achieve something. And you push out of the way those activities that get in the way of delivering your plan. So the most important part of a business plan is doing the work to finish it. It's a bit like preparing for a marathon. It is the preparation that gets you to run a marathon, not turning up at the events. Uh, well, I take uh, home all uh, those papers and all those notes. And uh, next weekend, uh, I present with our uh, chair of Hematon uh, what kind of plan we have for the next two years, and then maybe also the next five years, but that's a goal further on. 
And uh, in between we go uh, next month uh, with uh, the other participants of the workshop uh, working on our own business plan, uh, give comments to each other, feedback and uh, we keep on learning from each other. We looked at the range of membership you have, we looked at the aspirations of MPE and also the aspirations of the members as they are now. And we thought the best way to do this is not to run a program that people turn up to or told how to write a business plan, go away, or fill a template and walk away. But we thought we will help them over a period of time to actually develop a document that is going to work for them. So we spent two days together looking at the various elements of a business plan. Then we will spend the next 60, years, 60 days, not 60 years, on webinars where we will work on individual needs. So people will bring different elements of their work and discuss issues, get some peer support. Then they go away and they spend the rest of the, another six months working on delivering the business plan. Then we'll get together virtually again and see what elements were maybe too aspirational, what needs to be tweaked, what needs to be improved so they can design a longer term plan from there. So it's actually going to be a program that will last a period of nine months. I think it's very important to challenge people and to, uh, definitely we, I think in my organization we have to discuss a lot of things, uh, maybe more after this workshop, I give new ideas what we should uh, exactly discuss and in which point, uh, which point are challenging for us and on which point we should spend more time. But I think it's uh, positive for every kind of organization to have a business plan because if you have a business plan then you know where you go and you have some goals and you know how to reach these goals and uh, I think every organization should have a business plan definitely.